On your mark, get set, go! So where are we going today, Alfie? Can you sit? Thank you. Hey guys, and welcome back to another dailybark.ca video. And this is gonna be a vlog adventure today. We are on our way to Petapalooza with the guy. For those of you who are new and probably don't know who we are, I'm Courtney and that's Alfie. And the thing making all the beeping in the background, that's Tinkerbell. <laughs> and then uh, Eric's gonna be coming along for this adventure today. We are super excited. It's gonna be so much fun. I think it'd be fun. Okay, let's go say hi to the bird quick. Cause everybody likes the bird. And then the dog gets jealous. That's good. Oh, bite me, why don't you? What do you think, pal? Petapalooza? Let's do this. Yeah, sometimes it's almost too many, huh? too many people, huh? Too many people. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Pretty cool, hey? Yeah, it is. It's great. There's so many. Oh. One Toby is like the size of Alfie's entire house. Yeah, some big dudes. <laughs> I know Alfie gets his teeth done with these guys, so we'll be pumped to say hi to them. Yeah, I gotta say hi. Because if it wasn't yeah, for them, I wouldn't have known about Alfie's tooth all problem. All his teeth, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I want to say thank you again. We'll give this a minute, maybe. We'll we'll redo yeah, this in a sec. No, it's all good. Well, this is all part of the experience. Yeah. But Alfie's having a really good time. He's having a really good time. Bubba. Hi, guy. What do you think? He's like, I think mom's got some chicken for me. Okay, 
Shall we continue on? Yeah, I sure. Go back and peruse and chat with some more people. Yeah, sounds good. once again. We're going to ask you all to take a couple steps back when we close the gate. On your mark, get set, go! Sometimes when you find a good spot to chill, it's a good spot to chill, right? So we've got Rocco and Bo competing for the first place prize. This is serious business, folks. This is a $500 gift bag of dog building. All right, we've got two dogs in heat. No, two dogs in this heat. Two dogs in this heat. We've got Rocco and Bo. On your marks for the first place win, get set for five hundred dollars worth of toy. Go! Way to go, buddy! in the background we've got to have it on it is quite warm as you can see in here but don't worry he has a cooling bandana on it's wet it actually keeps his chest nice and cool so a couple of things that happened um, at Petapalooza um, there were lots of like races uh, booths and things to check out which was really cool uh, there was one really unfortunate incident um, which is why I included footage of the CPR demonstration um, there was a little Frenchie who uh, apparently may have had a heart condition or something but stopped breathing and the man who was giving us the demonstration and a vet who was on site ran uh, to the aid of this little dog and uh, the owner was in hysterics and I felt so bad because you here you go to have a nice day with your dog and this un really unfortunate thing happens and um, just some feedback uh, for Petapalooza I'm probably gonna send an email but it would have been handy to have a more complete um, kit 
on hand. Um, they were struggling to find an EpiPen and I know those things are expensive and not the kind of thing that you keep in necessarily every first aid kit, <laughs> but um, it might have been handy. I also noticed because this was like primarily the events were focused around like bulldogs and puppies and, and wiener dogs and stuff, but I noticed there were a lot of Frenchies, a lot of pitties, a lot of bulldogs. There were a lot of bully breeds. It was really awesome. But these are breeds that have squished faces and overheat like crazy. Oh my gosh, I really feel like it would have been really good if they had had volunteers, like I don't know if they could pay people to do this, but to go around and just gently remind people that you need to keep your dog hydrated and you need to keep your dog cool um, as best as you can. And I just feel like not enough people, like I saw a lot of dogs that weren't wet at all and were just, <sighs> you know and like really in the like direct sun and stuff so um tip number one i always carry with me whenever i go anywhere with alfie i keep one of these on hand this is an amazing device it it's called a uh, gulpy pet water dispenser and basically what it does is it allows you to give your dog water it just pours out the bottom you want to have a sip so you just squeeze it and then the water comes out. And then what I do with anything that he doesn't want to drink, I actually pour it onto his uh, towel. I'm not gonna do that right now because it's already soaked and I don't want to make the rest of my chair and furniture really wet, so hang on. So I keep one of those handy. I also use a cooling collar. This one's by um, Foofit. And basically it's a mesh material that stays wet like forever, I don't know how they do it, but it stays wet. So you make it wet, you put it on your dog, you have it face their chest. A really important way to keep your dog cool is by keeping their chest area cool. So of course I'm not a vet. Um, everything I say take with a grain of salt and consult your vet if anything I say doesn't sound kosher to you. Um, but that's from my experience. Um, I use these to keep my dog nice and, and chill, which is really important, especially if you've got a breed with a smushed face. Time in the shade, you know, pee breaks, and, and there's a lot of excitement when there's so many dogs. So giving your dog a break is also really important because I saw a number of spats like ah, like happening, you know, that like moment where the dog's like, nah, don't do that to me or whatever. So giving your dog a break from that kind of atmosphere is really important too. So we got a couple of goodies. Um, I have just brochure central up in here, um, but there was one item that I got uh, to try out actually for my vlog. So this one is a copper bowl and the website is www.cubowl. Uh, com, and what it is, it's a copper bowl and it's supposed to keep your water fresher uh, longer. Now I am going to do my research and I'm going to look into this more um, because this is not something I've ever heard of before and um, but I wanted to say a huge thank you to you guys uh, for giving me one of these to try out and review on my channel slash blog. So I'm very excited to do that. Um, I will let you guys know how I like it but this is what it looks like. Just your, your basic simple bowl. And um, when I do my actual review on this, I will post uh, the information that they provide as well. So there's that. I also got some samples to try of a new shampoo for Alfie because the, the one that I was using is no longer sold where I go to buy product, which is just a bummer. But that's what happens when bigger companies get bought out by even bigger companies. But, um, but this is called Bow Canine Essentials. And I have two to try out. One is a hypoallergenic formula, fragrance free. It's that one. And the other one is a nourishing formula with argan and coconut oil. There you go. <laughs> and so there's that one. I know, we're almost done, I swear. Then I also bought Alfie his very first sweatshirt. Yes, my dog does not own a sweatshirt. He owns a, like a ton of t-shirts, but I got him this sweatshirt hoodie uh, by a company called I hope I'm saying this right ill cane this is the this is the name here okay and this is basically what the sweatshirt is it says like a boss and it's just a hoodie it has this really adorable little pocket in the front it's like a little pocket and it's a zip up but what I liked about it is it doesn't interfere with his uh, doggy man parts if you will um, i'm hoping that he won't have the same problem peeing on it like he has with some of his other 
he hasn't had an actual hoodie but with some of his shirts he's had a problem in the past so really excited to try this out it is so cute and it's really really soft on the inside and it's really beautifully made like it's not cheaply made down the down the sides or anything it looks like it's really good quality so um yeah and they were so sweet and kind at the booth so huge shout out to you guys again i'm really excited this one i bought with my own money because I had to get him a sweatshirt. Winter is coming, you guys. <laughs> Winter is coming, okay. And the thing that I won, I actually spun a wheel and rubbed my lucky coin. And I won a, uh, what is this? This is a first aid kit from uh, the Vancouver ER Animal Emergency and Referral Center. Very cool. So this has all kinds of goodies in it. And as a dog owner, you should always have on hand a first aid kit for your dog. I have one already. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that one that I already have because it's a bit more compact. That one's gonna go into my emergency like uh, earthquake preparedness kit type thing that I have made. So I'm gonna put that in there and then this one will go in the hallway because we've got a, a lot of Alfie out. <laughs> because we've got a, a lot of dogs in the complex, I like to keep um, a first aid kit handy because you never know. Uh, that being said, this is where we're going to wrap up this video. A huge shout out to my husband Eric for filming this. You see, saw him in a few clips, I hope. <laughs> Poor guy, he was behind the camera for the whole thing. Um, but huge shout out to him. Shout out to this little guy for... Oh, I know. I know. It's break time. Oh, I know. To Alfie for surviving the adventure. Oh. Is Hang this on. a wrap? Yeah, this is almost a wrap. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We are Daily Bark Dogs on Instagram, and I believe we're also Daily Bark Dogs on Twitter. Um, check out our website as well, dailybark.ca, where I will post other information. I was on a little hiatus for a while there as I was figuring out what I wanted to do. Um, with the blog slash website, but I believe it's coming back now and um, Yeah, so if you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and help out my channel that way Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to follow along on Alfie and Tinkerbell's adventures because you never know what I'm gonna post next <laughs> lots of dog and Pacific parrotlet fun times and um, Yeah, so thank you so much for watching you guys. I really appreciate your support and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Okay. Bye